from the heart of Florida's great Northwest. It's radio. <laughs> this is Pat Crawford, hoping you'll stay with us for some great music and conversation here aboard our stage studio located in historic Pensacola's beautiful Museum of Commerce. And what an audience we have tonight, a full house of the most beautiful people you have ever seen on the radio. You can't beat it. We have such a good show tonight. We have uh, three fantastic artists, groups, and um, I believe there's, you know, this audience consists of fans for all three. Uh, it's interesting. I see a lot of new faces in the audience tonight, and uh, some of these artists are here for the first time, so I know where you folks came from, and I appreciate that. I'm glad that you all came out to support uh, music, live music here in Pensacola. We're going to start out with some guys that uh, are familiar to people in this part of the country. Uh, they perform uh, in the southeast here and are just down the road in Daphne. They're, they're, they're natives of Daphne. Uh, brothers Noah and Josh Thompson, who together form Roman Street. Since their college years playing together, They have developed into a Billboard iTunes charting band that many have dubbed the next generation of jazz fusion. Named for an old street in the Alps, they are internationally trained instrumental band specializing in instrumental fusion of classical gypsy and contemporary jazz, Latin, and Nuevo Flamenco. Once again, winning Mobile's Nappy Award for the best jazz artist this year, please join me in welcoming Roman Street.
guys very, very much. Thank you guys so much. Welcome to Radio Live, everybody. My name is Noah, this is my brother Josh. We're hey. on Roman Street, and we're delighted to be here with you. Um, we're gonna play uh, one of your songs now, right? Yeah, we're gonna do, this is actually the first song I ever wrote, ever, really. Not, not only for the band, but just personally, and uh, uh, I'm sure we have we have any songwriters here. Anyone has ever tried to write an, a song on an instrument before? Anybody? It's scary, just so you know, because <laughs> you don't know you don't know if it's good or if it's terrible, and sometimes that can be a pretty fine line. So I remember I uh, I was a freshman at <laughs> Auburn. I went to Auburn University for college. Any Auburn fans here? War Eagle, anybody? Thank you. <laughs> there we go. We got one. And uh, yeah, I just remember sitting down and writing, and then I was even scared to play it for Noah because you're just like, man. This isn't good. He's the judgmental hate it. older brother thing, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. So, and then much less playing it for people. And so, uh, as a song called "Caravan," and thank the Lord, we uh, we really we ended up working it up. We recorded it and released it. Uh, and that was actually one of the first songs that Sirius uh, Satellite Radio ended up picking up, the Wilder Color Station. So, as a song that's close to me, it's called "Caravan," and I uh, hope you guys enjoy.
Thank you guys. This next one we got prepared for you is, uh, is a song that Josh and I have been playing for a long time now. This is one of the first songs that I wrote uh, years ago uh, on my honeymoon, actually. We went down to St. Lucia, and it's a, a beautiful island. I, I, several of you, I, I get a lot of head nod, and a lot of people have been there. But if you haven't been, if you get the chance to go, please go. It's a lovely island full of wonderful people, great food. And, uh, and I, was, I sat in with the band at the hotel every night in the, in the, the hotel lobby. They had a band that played. And we'd go down there and have some drinks. And then we'd, uh, and one night, of course, uh, I had to sit in with the band. And they were playing this kind of groove, and it, and, it, and it ended up being the inspiration for this next song, named it after the island itself. It's called Santa Lucia.
Roman Street. They will be back with us in the second half of the program. And the program is Radio Live, live performance radio, coming to you from the Museum of Commerce in Pensacola, Florida, and broadcast on WUWF 88.1 FM and online at wuwf.org. O -R -G. Support for Radio Live comes from Synovus Bank, the bank of here, helping people turn their ideas into business realities. Information is available online at synovus.com, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. My next guest is no stranger to the Radio Live audience. He has been on this show probably close to 30 years. Um, that's 30 times, because he comes just about every year. Always a pleasure to have Pierce Pettis with us. And, in addition to Radio Live, he's appeared numerous times on NPR's Mountain Stage, E-Town, Morning Edition, and World Cafe. He's been a songwriter at Muscle Shoals Sound Studios, recorded for Fast Folk Musical Magazine in New York, won the prestigious New Folk Songwriting Competition at the Kerrville Folk Festival, and was a staff songwriter at Polygram Universal Music Publishing in Nashville. He's received numerous songwriting awards, including the ASCAP Country Music Award for his song, You Move Me, recorded by Garth Brooks. After three critically acclaimed albums on the Wyndham Hill High Street level, label, Pierce joined Compass Records in Nashville, where he's been ever since, releasing five albums and just wrapping up a sixth. Please welcome my good friend, Mr. Pierce Pettis. Oh, thank you, Pierce. Hey, Those guys were amazing. <laughs> I feel like I just want to go home. <laughs> you know, why am I even here? Um, I do have a new album coming out, and, and um, uh, I have to tell you, 25 years ago, my friend Mark Hurd uh, passed away, and since then, I have made a point of including one of his songs on every one of my albums, and um, so like he said, I've got a new record coming out, or album, whatever we call them now, and um, this, this is a song of Mark's that I recorded, and it's kind of special because this is the last song that Mark ever played, ever. And I know that because Kate Miner and I were on stage with him at the time. This is called Look Over Your Shoulder. Look over your shoulder and tell me what's coming. Tell me what is the bogey that you're so afraid of? The eyes in the back of our heads can't ex that just for the moment mercies. Oh, look over your shoulder and tell me what's coming. Look into your sad eyes and tell me what you see. What is left of the child who is hiding behind them? Who longs to be laughing in places of light? Who knows that the morning will follow the night? Look into your sad eyes and tell me what you see. Well, if you must be afraid, be afraid of yourself. For being afraid of the fears you have felt, you will weather well in a climate of love. It takes more than your passion and more than your pain for the rock of forgiveness to 
snowed in the rain Look over your shoulder And tell me what's coming Look into your sad eyes And tell me what you see Look over your shoulder and tell me what's coming. Thank you. Though you're weary and worried, though you stumble and fall, Surrounded by trouble With your back to the wall When you're busted and broken Remember the one You'll always be Your father's son When you're brought down in hatred When you're brought down by love Brought down by those things You just can't rise above When you stray from the path And hate what you've become Still you remain Your father's son Your father's eyes Your father's name your father's pride, your father's shame Be you braggart or humble Be you doctor or thief If you're made out of money If you live on relief But still you cannot escape it No matter how far you run Lord, you will remain your father's son hands, your father's face, so here you stand in your father's place, you may never have known him, you may know him too well, he may have given his blessing, he may have given you hell, but if you know the difference, between right and wrong Then don't forget what you are Your father's son Hey, don't forget who you are Your father's son Thank you very much. Uh, you know, part of me, I'm a little gravelly tonight. Uh, though I did gargle with Drano, and it didn't seem to help for some reason. Oh, that, that go my teeth. <laughs> oh, don't be alarmed. This is a uh, medical device I'm required to wear by the uh, government. They make me do this. Um, There we go. Well, I'm gonna turn this, can I turn this up a little bit or can you? This is on, right? I hate asking embarrassing questions like that. Is it on, is it in, or whatever. Um, <laughs> well, you may have noticed I'm from Alabama. <laughs> 
And uh, I did start out in Muscle Show Sound. I was the you know, token white kid, you know, playing pretty, pretty folky, folky songs. And all the other writers were these large black men from Memphis, and they were playing songs like, you know, Shake Your Funky Tail Feather or whatever. <laughs> and I was doing my little kumbaya thing, you know. And, but they were nice to me, so that's good. And, um, any rate, um, I heard the coolest track the other day it was uh, Jason Isbell and uh, Tommy Emmanuel doing an old Delmore Brothers song. Just amazing. And so I'm going to do it. <laughs> Since I'm such a great singer right now. Actually, nobody has ever sung this song better than Jason. He's from Alabama. We, we, we're proud of our boy. Uh, you ready? Let it rain, let it pour, let it rain a whole lot more Cause I brought them deep river blues Let the rain drive right on, let the waves sweep along Cause I got them deep river blues She's good old pal. She walked like a waterfowl. And I got in the river blues. Hey, there ain't nobody gonna cry for me. They shall go out on the spree when I got in the river blues. Gonna sail her if she float, cause I got them deep river blues. Hey, I'm going back to muscle shows. Times are better there, I'm told, cause I got them deep river blues. Thank you, Pierce. Pierce Pettis, and he will also be back with us in the second half of the program. This is Radio Live. Support for this program comes from Peden Air Conditioning, Plumbing, and Electrical, a family-operated company serving commercial and residential customers since 1969. From heating and air conditioning to plumbing and electrical projects, Peden offers 24-hour service. Learn more online at peden.com. All right. Okay, This my next guest just introducing her was, I could tell was going to be a challenge. I, I went to her website, which you need to go to meanmary.com and read her bio. It is a novella, which is not surprising because she is a novelist along with her mother. So go figure. So anyway, I was said, I've got to condense this down into a very brief introduction, which is impossible, but I'm going to do my best to hit the high points so that you'll have a real understanding of where Mary's coming from. Alabama born, it's kind of a theme tonight. In fact, all of our artists are Alabama born. Youngest of six children, she was born into a nomadic family who packed up and moved from Florida to the northern border of Minnesota to rough it in the wilds when she was four. For three months, they lived in a tent built from a roll of visqueen while they built a log cabin using only an ax, hand saws, and the trees around them. Many wilderness adventures followed until they returned to the south. Mary learned to read music before she could read words and was the offic an official songwriter before she started her first day of kindergarten. 
With the help of her mom, she wrote her theme song, Mean Mary from Alabama, and recorded it, and recorded her first album at age six. At one point, the family packed up again and moved to Los Angeles, just like the Beverly Hillbillies, where she worked in the film industry as a background actor, stand-in, stunt double, and day player. Her music career was really taking off when a near-fatal car crash just about ended it all. But obviously, it didn't, thank goodness. In addition to more albums than I can count on two hands, she's also a novelist co-writing with her mom, Jean, and is the award-winning author of two published novels. Please join me in welcoming Mean Mary. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. It's great to be here tonight. Okay, well, I'm going to kick it off with a song I wrote with my mom. This is off my newest album. It's called Sugar Creek Mountain Rush. High and handsome stands a peak, stands a mountain of Sugar Creek. It's higher than a royal flush, and I'm high on my Sugar Creek a Mountain Rush. The mountain sings, get ready for the day. Fill your lungs with air, it's time to play. Don't throw in the towel, try taekwondo. Kick a chair, grab a vase, let her fly, let her go. Coming through a do si -do. I'm a smashing, crashing torpedo. I'm the storm before the hush, and I'm high. Sugar Creek, a mountain rush. I drive through the middle to Bush and Chuck. Chaos is the song I love. Sing it loud in my best off key and lose my anonymity. I'm high on danger and the rush is on. I'm a room rearranger to the fun is gone. I'm a rubble maker and a low down high. Living my life to the day I die. Coming through a do si -do. I'm a smashing, crashing torpedo. I'm the storm before the hush. And I'm high on my a Sugar Creek Mountain. There's no lying down if you're just getting up. There's no slowing down and there's no letting up. I keep rolling. Well, I'm rolling and I'm high on my sugar cream. Thank you very much. Thank y'all so much. Okay, I'm gonna do a little instrumental. This is actually the title track of my new album called Blazing, and this song is called Blazing. Tom, just a tiny bit less banjo up here would be great. Here we go.
I wrote that uh, actually as a, to play with my brother, Frank, who plays guitar, but it's better with just me, so it's a good one tonight. Anyway, I'm going to do a classic bluegrass song real quick. I'm just rolling right through here with songs. Um, you guys might recognize this tune. It's a, it's a great banjo song by the name of Cripple Creek. And y'all are welcome to dance. I see we got plenty of dancers out there tonight. <laughs> okay. Well, I got a guy in Tennessee. He's as sweet as he can be. He's got eyes of baby blue. Makes my gun just straight and true. Going down Cripple Creek, going on a run. Going down Cripple Creek to have some fun. Going down Cripple Creek, going on a run. Going down Cripple Creek to have some fun. Going on to see him up two times a week. Test his lips, sweet as any wine. Wrap myself around, I'm not gonna see but it'll bind. Going down Cripple Creek, going on a run. Going down Cripple Creek to have some fun. Going down Cripple Creek, going on a run. Going down Cripple Creek to have some fun. Like a dog on a bone, Cripple Creek swatted a Cripple Creek steep. Wait on Cripple Creek before I sleep. Going down Cripple Creek, going on a run. Going down Cripple Creek to have some fun. Going down Cripple Creek, going on a run. Going down Cripple Creek to have some fun. do my barn song because I uh, I have a train song I have a tractor song and I have a barn song and uh, I'm gonna start y'all off with this barn song I get to my train song later tonight hopefully <laughs> as Pat told you I uh, my first original song was uh, was called Bean Mary from Alabama I, uh, I'm the youngest of six kids and I grew up in the panhandle of Florida but uh, the hospital was across the line for me so I was or in Alabama, and I guess that was worthy of a song. So I wrote that, and it became my, my theme song. And uh, unlike uh, Josh said with Roman Street, when you're, uh, when you're five years old and you write a song, you know it's good, so you don't have to. <laughs> so uh, I thought it was pretty good. And uh, anyway, the press picked up on it, and uh, Mean Mary this, and, and, and I retired the song when I turned six, and the name just <laughs> stuck after that. But anyway. This is one I wrote later. I co-write with my mom. We co-write books and songs, and this is one we wrote. Y'all gotta help me out with this one, okay? Can y'all give me some a barnyard ambience? You gonna help me out? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, this is gonna be classic. <laughs> okay, so here we go, and there's parts for y'all in this one. Sitting all alone in my big red barn with entertaining critters who don't give a darn singing for ducks <laughs> and geese <laughs> and chickens <laughs> guys are good with those chickens <laughs> baying like a hound And playing like the Dickens. Poor little me, sitting there in the dust. No one to help me, no one to trust. Sitting in the shadows, yearning for the sun. Oh, nothing is there, not, not even one. But just dust and feathers and wise and weathers. Just get to work, don't get togethers. 
scores of chores, scores of yokels and bores. Love's never gonna knock on these barn doors. Poor little me, it should be sitting by the sea. K I S S I N G. No L U V, no fun, 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 oh. No one who tight, not even one. But this big red barn is starting to lean. But I'm sitting here rocking like a barnyard queen. Roof's caved in and the floor's rotted through. Just held together with cobweb glue. Poor little me is sitting there in the dust. Got no one to help me, no one to trust. Sitting in the shadow who's yearning for the sun. Oh, nothing next. Hell, I had zero zilch, none. But this big red barn finally fell to the ground. And I packed wild ducks. <laughs> Quacked all around. Sold the chickens. <laughs> for a ticket and a new bikini. Flew south with the geese. Oh, no one's seen me. Poor little me, finally sitting by the sea. K I S S I N G. They're getting in line one by one. Oh, he's dead. You're done. <laughs> Thank you. Mean Mary. Thank you, Mary. Mary will be back with us in the second half of the program. We are at the halfway point in the program. You all having a good time? Yeah. I suspected as much. We do this program live down here in the Museum of Commerce in Pensacola on the first Thursday of every month. And then we uh, broadcast it. Uh, we broadcast actually best of encores on subsequent Thursday nights. And it's also a television program that can be seen on uh, Cox Cable and many other cable carriers here in the area on Sunday and Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock. So lots of good chances to watch or listen to Radio Live um, anytime you want. And we hope you will. Joining us once again, I think these guys brought their entire fan club with them here tonight. I get the feeling, you know. <laughs> Roman Street. Thank you.
We're going to do a fun little cover for you guys. One of our favorite acts is a band called the Gypsy Kings. This is a song of theirs called Bamboleo. two more songs but we're gonna go quick because we don't want to run out of time we're gonna do a gypsy jazz song for you guys now this is one of our favorite styles of music to play and uh this next one's by a guitar great named Django Reinhardt it's called Minor Swing you know we actually recorded a version of this and in part because of uh, the city of Pensacola we were playing at the jazz festival just down the road here and uh and we asked from the stage one year we we're like hey what's you guys' favorite song that we do and it was like it just seemed like 5,000 people just yelled, minor swing! Like, so, uh, so we had to record it, and here's our version. Great Gypsy Jazz song.
so much, guys. We got one more song for them. Thank you again for coming out to Radio Live tonight. It's been our pleasure. This is an original song called Strum. It's, uh, it's the last song on our current CD, Bohemia. We hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll come see us again very soon. We love you all. Appreciate you. Enjoy.
Roman Streets. Yeah. All right. You're listening to Radio Live, coming to you live from the Museum of Commerce here in Pensacola, Florida, and broadcast on WUWF 88.1 FM, listener supported radio from the University of West Florida. Pierce Pettis is with us again. I just want to say one thing about Pierce. He mentioned his voice was a little gravelly tonight. He's suffering from a little bronchial issue, which happens whenever you in inhale in this area. Um, that's a problem. But I got to tell you a little quick story about Pierce. We did Radio Live on the road in uh, Seaside several years ago, and Pierce was scheduled to perform. And a couple days before the show, I got word that while he was building a tree house for his children, he fell out of the tree and broke a couple of ribs. But he was still coming to perform. So sure enough, he comes, he's all taped up with the ribs, but he's also completely covered in calamine lotion. And I'm like going, what the heck? And he goes, I fell in poison ivy. And he still performed and he didn't miss a beat. So let's hear it for Pierce Fettis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the sick old man is back. Uh, speaking of sick old man, you want to hear my impression of the Donald? <laughs> Who did you think I met? I don't know. This is another song from the new record. We all have something from which we need to recover. The sex and booze and drugs, or maybe just each other. Every day I try again. I hit the reset button, don't always get it right, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I don't know why I talk to myself, maybe because no one will listen. Maybe why I write these songs like a crazy man on a mission. And just like any lost cause lost in the transmission, maybe it's a waste of time, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Any given day, got a 50-50 chance that things will go my way. As the tables turn, sometimes you'll bless, sometimes you'll burn, but that's okay. I wouldn't change it for the world. Hey. Feel like I know too much, but I don't know enough. I'm widely read in ignorance. I'm unable to shut up But I know that beauty lies In the beholder's eye Yeah, I know that beauty lies But I wouldn't change it for the world hey. Any given day Got a 50-50 chance That things will go my way As the tables turn Sometimes you're blessed, sometimes you're burned, but that's okay. And I wouldn't change it for the world. No. I know the beauty lies. I know the beauty lies. I know the beauty lies, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Thank you. There it is. Okay. Um, this song has a story. It's another new song that's on my new album. Excuse me. Man, it's getting bad. I'm starting to sound like Kenny Rogers or something. Or Kim. <laughs> But you know, just think how much more Tom Waits would cost, right? He's real expensive. Uh, poor old Kenny Rogers, man. I mean, seriously, he's a wealthy man. Can he not afford a good plastic surgeon? That's all I'm asking. I mean, 
mean, have you seen him lately? He's like, no, we not him. It's kind of like, I think maybe he wanted to save some money, you know, and he asked his cousin Earl to do the job, you know. Yeah, hey, I'll fix you up, Kenny. I'll get my precision ground ice piculum, a couple of hits of chloroform. <laughs> Come on over to the trailer. Anyway, um, y'all doing okay? Good. Um, is this still on? Good, okay. Well, I need to tell you a story about Mr. Zeidman. Um, I grew up in a little town of Fort Payne, which is way up in the northeast corner of Alabama. Uh, my dad, however, is from um, uh, Evergreen, and I got a lot of cousins in Mobile and Andalusia and Grove Hill and whatever. And uh, are there any cravies here, by the way? That's the Irish side of the family. At any rate, uh, <clears throat> this is on, right? Okay, I don't know. I'm getting here because I got goo. Filled. I'm I'm hearing everything through layers of quivering goo in my head, so. Who knows what, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But um, but anyway, my dad had a Western Auto store. And that, that means when I was 10 years old, I learned how to balance tires and stuff. And that was really useful, you know. Um, and just down the street was Mr. Zeidman. And Mr. Zeidman was a very kind old man, uh, older man. Um, and he had a ladies apparel shop. And um, Mr. Zeidman was, um, was a refugee from Poland. He was from Warsaw. And um, he was single. He didn't have a wife or any kids or family. He was there all by himself. Why in the world he chose Fort Payne, Alabama? I, I wonder if he just threw a, a dart at a map or something, you know. And, uh, but at any rate, he had a ladies apparel shop and he did alterations and stuff. And he loved little children. Uh, I remember in the back of his store, there was this curtain. And behind the curtain was like an army cot and a hot plate and always a big bowl of candy, you know? And so when little kids came in the shop, he'd always be like, come here, come here, come here, have some candy, don't tell your mom, you know? And, um, and that's what he was like. And um, he was, as this was back in the 1960s, and you know, when I think about it now, he was probably the only Jewish person in our town, probably in the entire county. And, um, but I never forgot him. And uh, for years, I've wanted to write a song for him. I hope I can just sing it right. But this is for Mr. Zeidman. <clears throat> Mr. Zeidman wore long sleeves. To keep an ugly thing from view. Not a birthmark on his arm, or a circus tattoo. No one ever asked about it, and no one ever knew. The terrible secrets of our one and only Jew. A tailor shop in a small town. Well, that's where he lived and worked. I used to go there with my mother. And I hid behind her skirt But he had a smile for every child And a piece of candy too There was kindness in the hands Of our one and only Jew It was a beautiful world it was a beautiful time for a boy and a girl in the prime of their lives. Him and look, the baby smiles. He looks so much like you in the spring of 39. How the apple blossoms.
Mr. Zyman sold his store when his work was finally done. For a condo in Miami To enjoy the setting sun Then came rumors of a fatal jump I pray they're not true The memories I carry are the memories I choose And tonight I'll light a candle For our one and only Jew It was a beautiful world It was a beautiful time For a boy and a girl in the prime of their lives Him in love The baby smiles He looks so much like you In the spring of 39 How the apple blossoms Bloomed Thank you. I'll do you guys one more song. I wrote this with my friend Andrew Peterson, who's just a killer songwriter, great guy. And it's called More. <laughs> so sometimes I do it as an encore, because I can go like, oh, you want more? And then I do, you know, more. But, uh, but um, I want to play this for anyone who's lost someone recently. Um, uh, this is not a sad song. It's uh, quite the opposite. Um, there's a great quote from um, C.S. Lewis that I've always loved. It's, the quote is, you don't have a soul. You are a soul. You have a body. You know what I mean? This is not the end here at this grave. This is just a hole that someone made. And every hole is meant to fill, and every heart can feel it. How our nature hates a vacuum. This is not the hardest part of all. This is just a seed that had to fall And all our lives we till the ground Until we lay our sorrows down And watch the sky for rain Knowing there's more, more than all this pain more than all the falling down and the getting up again. There is more, more than we can see from our tiny vantage point in this vast eternity. There is more. There is more. A thing resounds when it rings true When it's ringing all the bells inside of you Like a golden sky on a summer eve Your heart is tugging at your sleeve And you cannot say why But you know there's more Than the naked I can see 
Holding all our days in mystery Watching over everything wilder than our wildest dreams could ever dream to be There is more, more than we could stand Standing in the glory of a love that never ends There is more, more than we can guess More and more, forevermore And not a second less There is more There is more Thank you, Pierce. Pierce Pettis. Awesome. Hey, I just want to remind everyone who's here tonight, all of these artists have their music and other merchandise for sale here. And this, this is how these folks make a living. And uh, it would be a nice way for you to be able to take a piece of them home with you tonight. And you might want to do that. Check out uh, their CDs, their books, their attire, all sorts of things. But in the meantime, we get to enjoy again our friend, Mean Mary. Not so mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to uh, do one of my story songs here. This is, uh, this is one of my long songs, and it's, it's like seven minutes on my album, but if I do it a little bit faster, we can do like 5.45, maybe 5.44 tonight, so we'll see. Swamp is a laying and cotton falls like snow. Where alligators slink, mosquitoes drink, and wild things love to grow. It was past midnight, I had one headlight and my gas pedal on the floor. I was tired of watching clocks and taking hard knocks and locking my dreams in a drawer. Squeal as I jerk the wheel and draw straight into an oak tree wall. My head in a daze, I escape through a maze of busty steel and glass. And silk penny hose with holes in the toes, I started running through the tall wet grass. I saw a house all alone, as bare as a bone, like someone had thrown it away. It reeked of smoke and neglect that choked memories of a better day. I stood at the door, sucked to my car, i feeling just a little insane. When the door opened wide, a man stood inside and said, Coming out of the rain, oh, coming out of the rain. His eyes were dark like the eyes of a shark And his face was neither young nor old I paused for a beat before moving my feet And crossing that wide threshold It was a summer night and a fire burned bright But I began to shiver and shake He gave me a coat of fur, a smile demure And a plate full of devil's food cake he sat down on a chair like a lion in his lair and lit up a thin cigar. Oh, with an air of conceit, reached in by his feet and picked up a red guitar. He ran his hands down the strings like a sphinx's wings and a strange silence fell. He said, this is my story, my life and my glory, oh, this is my Single 
I started to pray as he started to play and that fire burned hotter than hell I could feel a hole burning clear through my soul as I listened to sweet Jezebel I listened to sweet Jezebel She sang about sin and blessed she slow it down just a little bit here. I, uh, I co-write with my mom and we've written a few books. Um, we won the Reader's Favorite International Book Award for Best Mystery Novel with, uh, thank you. <laughs> with one of our books, our, our Jane series, and the character in the book is kind of based off my mom, um, the lady over there in the hat for y'all here in the audience, <laughs> who's hiding, I'm sure now. Anyway, uh, my mom used, I have this very normal mom, as I tell folks, that used to catch snakes for a living. Um, she used to go out 20 miles every day in the panhandle of Florida and I'd come back with all sorts of critters and the, the venomous ones she would sell because they milk them for the ant to make antivenom out of their venom and farmers internationally for pest control. And I know way too much about snakes from my normal mom. But anyway, so <laughs> the character in the book's kind of kind of based off of, off of her. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, we like to write uh, songs and the book's set in Florida. We like to write songs set in Florida as well. So um, last year, we decided to enter the big Florida Folk Song Contest at the Will McLean Festival. It's kind of a big deal every year. And we entered uh, two songs, and we won first and second place. <laughs> That's all the bragging for right now. Um, anyway, so I'm going to do the first place winner, because no one ever wants to hear the second place song. So. This is called the Choctahatchee Waltz. And it's about the Choctahatchee River that runs along the panhandle of Florida and South Alabama. Some of my mom's old stomping grounds. Oh, a Cherokee princess and a Choctaw brave were carried away on a Choctahatchee wave. Oh, a preacher man came and went down on his knee and baptized us children in the church. 
has been struggling tonight. I'm struggling a little bit. I, uh, this is, uh, well, this has uh, been a stretch of tour here in Florida. About, this is kind of the last show of this little tour, and then I fly to Europe for two and a half months, but I've had, yay, no, <laughs> but I've had show after show after show after show. So it's just getting me ready, because I booked a lot of shows in Europe, so I'm not going to see anything except the inside of a car and the inside of a venue, and... <laughs> That would be fun. This is my third uh, trip over there, but I'm going to some places I've never been. I'm going to be in the Czech Republic and Denmark and Germany, so this will be exciting. Except I have to uh, take my brother, Frank. So, so, which he couldn't be here tonight because he was he had to wash his hair. But um, he's bald, by the way. But um, anyway, but he is coming with me for Europe. So I might not ever see y'all again um, if we ever survive the trip together as siblings. But Anyway, um, I'm going to do this little gospel song. This is one I, uh, that I wrote years back, and I, I like singing it because it talks about not wearing shoes, which I'm, I'm fond of. And then I'm going to get my banjo up and do a quick train song for y'all. Because Sarah over here likes to uh, dance to train songs. She was, uh, she was asking for it, so she must be somewhere else now, but she'll come out here and dance, I'm sure. <laughs> here we go. Oh, the chapel on the hill is ringing out a song and saying all oh, you sinners come or get ready for a fall and i'll be there in a faded dress but i'll be looking sweet and there won't be a soul who care there's no shoes on my feet up the mountain of fury across the river of fear down the valley of the shadow i'll be running like a deer when I come to the end of 
life's great story I will walk barefoot through the fields of glory I was born a simple girl and a simple life I lead and there's not too many folks around who can say that's all they need don't mean to brag about the peaceful simple life I choose but the roads don't seem so rough but you're not wearing high-heeled shoes up the mountain of fury across the river of fear down the valley of the shadow I'll be running like a deer and when I come to the end of life's great story I will walk barefoot through the fields of glory That river Jordan is too high to swim the dare. But they used to say our sins were just too big across to bear. And you know you're bound to under down a dusty winding road. So the more you give, the less you have, the lighter your load. Up the mountain of fury, across the river of fear, down the valley of the shadow, I'll be running like a deer. When I come to the end of life's great story, I will walk barefoot through the fields of glory. Up the mountain of fury, across the river of fear, down the valley of the shadow, I'll be running like a deer. When I come to the end of life's great story, we walk barefoot through the fields of glory. Well, it's been great to be with you all here this evening. Y'all give it up for Pierce and for Roman Street. That was fantastic. It's an honor to be on stage with them all here. I got to tune up for this uh, this last song here that I'm gonna play. What? I should, I should, I should. So you could have danced, right? I was waiting for that. <laughs> well, if I played my fiddle, I wouldn't have a chance to do my train song, and we. We all love trains, right? I wasn't very enthusiastic. <laughs> Yay! Uh, Y'all got good train sound effects for me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we're in the mood, right? No, it's great to be here. I can on. I this is the first show I've ever played in Pensacola, so, Ooh, yeah. So I hope to uh, come back and see y'all soon. Thank you. If I uh, survive the trip with Frank, so we'll see. Here we go. This is one I wrote with my mom, and we, had an, we won an IMA for Best Americana Tune with this, and it's about a race between an Indian maid and her horse racing against the train, the Iron Horse. Lovers, do we rest beneath the summer sun? My dusky eyes, but his so blue, our soaring spirits breathe as one. We blazed our love across the skies, surrendered to its ancient force. Till the day he said goodbye and climbed aboard the iron horse. Rode his challenge loud and tree. Suggested of the great divine, the mastiff had the stronger wheel, the higher horse had the longer stride.
Just whistle cut me like a blade I know the screaming spooky cry Could he leave his hand and made a ride like when and ask him why Shot my fearless pain to dawn I chose my pace and set my course Catch the steam and on the run my steed against this iron horse. Road is challenged loud and shrill as I chested up the great divide. The man's steed has the stronger will, the higher horse had the longer stride. Through the thunder of its blare, I yield my fury at the bees. Wasted words lost in the air as it rode its way forever ease. And the iron horse's speed increased. Thank you all so much. Appreciate it. Me and Mary James. Yes. All right. I want to thank all of our artists tonight. Me and Mary James, Pierce Pettis, and Roman Street. Radio Live is a production of WUWF Public Media at the University of West Florida. Our technical director and broadcast mix master is Dale Regal. Our house sound is engineered by Tom Skinner. Master control this evening is being masterfully controlled by Bob Barrett. Our videographers are Teresa Clark, Corbin McCoy, and Chuck Dunlap. Our video director is Quentin Williams. We had production assistance from me tonight, actually. Our house manager is Trish Allison. Our stage manager is everybody's favorite Jewish mother, Enid Siskin. This is Pat Crawford reminding you to keep your mind on your driving, your heart on the coast, and your dial on public radio. Good night, everybody. See you next month. <laughs>